Hello and welcome to today's video. On the workbench today we've got an XTEC quad output DC power supply model number 382270 and uh, this one's mine. Uh, my dad gave it to me. It's got some issues and we're gonna try to see if we can't fix it. So I go ahead and turn it on and right off the bat the most annoying thing on this is I'm adjusting the voltage and the displays don't update. Uh, to me that seems like a really bad design but uh, you actually so it's like I'll put a voltage there but it doesn't update until you click the supply on which the button sometimes works there you go and now it's updating but now your outputs live so I mean what's the point of having an output on off button if you can't adjust the supplies to the voltages you want and then flip it on that, that seems like a bad design but anyways so, it looks like the voltages on these two supplies, channel 1 and 2, are stable. And that's the other thing. Why is it 4, 2, 1, 3? That just, I don't know. <laughs> it just seems odd. I would expect 1, 2, 3, 4, but, or, uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I should probably stop nitpicking the design, but, um, uh, this, there's something wrong with this pot. You'll see if I turn so we've got no load on here so I'm going to turn the current limit down and uh, you can see it's it freaks out every once in a while yeah see it's I think this pot is on the verge of just not being good because the other one doesn't do that it actually has hysteresis so I think it's going see it's flipping on its own here if I go and turn this one down see now it's really freaking out <laughs> but if I go ahead and turn this one down see it doesn't have a history it's got hysteresis on this one where I can't find a spot where it freaks out like the other one does. But this guy definitely has issues. I get it. I got it to where it was just going click, 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 click all the time, but I wasn't recording. But anyways, we'll go ahead and turn that all the way back up. So the current limits do work. I've put a load on it and the voltage and everything. That does work. Uh, if I flip over to this channel 4 supply here, you can see um, here's the other. This pot right here might be bad too. So if I go ahead and start adjusting it, you see I'm turning it to the left and voltages are going up and down and not changing now it's starting to work. Nope. So, I think this pot's gone bad too. So as I turn it up, I'm getting weird voltages. Oh, now we're jumping. Oh, now we're... no. Nope. Yeah, I can get it. There are spots where it just kind of acts really funny. Like just pushing on it a little bit changes. So I think this pot's gone bad too. Uh, there's actually points where I can get it, I can set it, and it'll just sit there and toggle between two different, like a bunch of different voltages. But uh, I don't know where that spot's at. But, uh,. Yeah, so I think that pot, it's almost like this side got dropped. See, right there it's kind of jumping around. But it's almost like this side got dropped at one point. Or, I think it might be corrosion. I'll show you that in a second. But if we flip over to the other supply here, you can see this one, like I move it and it's nice and smooth. It doesn't jump around. 
stays where I set it. So it's like everything on this side works. All these pots work. I can touch them. Nothing changes. Whereas on this side, if you just barely touch things, it starts changing the voltages. So, yeah. <laughs> Anyways. Um, so, yeah, one of the reasons I think it might be corrosion is... Um, go ahead and flip it off here. Um, if you look, all the screws are, are rusted. All the everything down the side, it's all completely rusted out. And I, this thing doesn't look like it's that old. It looks like it's a cheap, you know, made in China kind of a deal. But plug it here, flip it around. You can see how much rust there is on everything. So I go ahead and uh, gonna open it up and see how bad it is in there. Maybe we just have a bunch of corrosion on the leads and fixing some solder joints and. They'll be back up and running, but um, I suspect that there's corrosion inside the pots. But the fact that it's everything on this side that seems to be having problems might have gotten dropped at some point and smushed these in or something. I don't know. But uh, I'll go ahead and take it apart, see what's going on. And I'd really like to investigate being able to um, have this actually control the, button, the outputs while you can still adjust it. I think that would be useful. Um... But yeah, uh, other than that, the hardest part will be finding a place to put it because my workbench above here is kind of full. Although I might, I might set it over here. I got to clean up. I've I've been doing a slight cleanup effort. You can kind of see that uh, if you've looked in previous videos, there were a couple CRT monitors over here, and I had an old computer that was over there. I was running Windows 2000, so it was pretty old. Um, uh, put the new, cleaned it all off. I still got some boxes back here, but um, I got the laptop over here. It's got its own little space. Got a wireless mouse for it because uh, this one only has three USB ports, and my old laptop had four, so a short one. I usually need one for the logic, uh, one for the um, uh, ICD3, and then one for one that I'm actually using. So and when I had the mouse plugged in, that took up my fourth one. And uh, anyways. But uh, I've got I've got all the monitors hooked up, so I can I can do that. Whee! So works pretty good. Um, I got one of these. This is HDMI to DVI for one monitor, and then the other monitor is a Display Port to DVI. It's like nine dollars. I don't know how they can make things that cheap, but it works fine. I mean, uh, I got both the monitors hooked up to it. Uh, I got my Blu-ray reader because this laptop doesn't have an optical drive in it. And, uh, yeah, so everything kind of set up, um, trying to make a cleaning effort because the rest of the workbench is a disaster. Uh, I have to eventually get, you can see all the capacitor boards back there from the battery chargers. Those are all, that, that pile is all the pile of dead ones, and then this pile is good ones. But, uh, yeah, um... Oh, if you notice, there's a couple batteries back there. They're going into a UPS. There's a UPS back there. But anyways, um, yeah, I'll we'll go ahead and open this up and uh, see if we can't fix it. But uh, anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Bye.